Hey guys, Chris Wolfie here today with a new video. So in this video, I'll be talking about something quite exciting, which is basically um, a 3DS emulator for the PC. Um, so I know what you guys are thinking, 3DS emulator doesn't exist yet. Well, well, it kind of doesn't exist and it kind of does exist. So I'll explain to you guys what I mean in a while. Um, so, you know, if you guys have gone to, you know, Google and search for a 3DS emulator for PC, um, you notice that there are a lot of like 3DS emulator.org or like 3DS download.com. So basically all these are just scams. Like I've tried basically like at least half of all these like um, through 3DS emulators and they're basically all just scams. Like this one, like it looks like such a nice web page and all, but um, at the end of the day, okay, if it loads, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't like give you um, 3D emulation. I was like, oh wow, but yep, I've tried downloading it, and nope, it does not work. So do not be taken in by all these scams. They're probably just like viruses or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, but what does work is this thing called Citra, um, which is a uh, basically a 3D emulator that is in a really, 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 really early stage of, the stage of development, which means that it cannot run commercial games at all. So you guys are probably thinking it can't run commercial games. What's the point? Well, it's kind of true. I mean, everyone wants to like you know play Pokemon X and Y, but it does not run that. So um, yeah, but it, it runs homebrew games like um, games that are basically made by people such as like Pong and things like that. So um, I'll show you some pictures later of, of games that run on it. So basically, here's the link to Citra. If you do, is just go over to the link, uh, click here to start download from Send Space. Just wait for the file to download. And oh wait, okay, I've downloaded already. So let's just go to the downloads folder. So <clears throat> it comes in the um, in the form of a dot seven zip file. I uh, basically just you know use seven zip and extract the files to get this folder over here. So inside the folder, you see and master child I just open it and um then there'll be diff different like core and application utilities. Just click the first one, which is Citra Qt release dot exe and open it. And then you have it Citra the uh, emulation opens up. So basically, you can just uh, you, you just click load file and you can go and find um, a 3ds homebrew game. But currently, I haven't actually been able to get my hands on anything. So if there is any homebrew game, please tell me in the comment section below. Um, so far, the only like thing that I've seen of this is actually the pictures um, that the developer has released of people playing homebrew games. So these pictures will be coming up right about like now, and like they'll just be going through the pictures. Um, so essentially, I think that this is really quite a cool like step in the right direction as you can see all these uh, pictures that are currently being shown on the screen. It's quite a cool step in the right direction because it's finally something that is legit and actually plays um, some sort of 3DS game. But as the developer has mentioned um, a lot, he's, he's saying that basically this is not for commercial games and probably will take a couple of years to actually be even available for commercial games. But as of right now, it's mostly for developers and for people trying to you know work with the, the, the 3DS. So yeah, that's the best we can get as of 2014. So thanks for watching, and um, I don't know, I hope you guys weren't expecting a real 3DS emulator because it's kind of in the future. But thanks for watching, and have a nice day.